Okay, we have here on the board a really long integral or a long denominator. And let's get started with this. So when I was looking at it, I didn't want to deal with the um, denominator. I didn't want to try to factor that. But then we noticed that our first term is actually a square. X to, x to the 6 can be written as x cubed squared. Uh, this term is a perfect square. And then we have kind of a symmetry. We have like all the exponents are 2 or 1. So I think what we do, we do want to try to factor this thing. So let's break that out separately. I'm going to just rearrange it a little bit. I'm going to group my x to the 6 with the 1. And I'm going to kind of put everything else to the side for the second. Let's actually just look at this x to the 6 plus 1. Now, if we write this as x cubed plus 1 squared, we get our x to the 6 plus 1. And then we add another term, uh, 2x cubed, when we multiply the inner terms. But we actually have that term too. So then we can actually take three of our terms and write it this way. Okay, so now we have our x to the 6, 1, and 2x cubed in our square term here. And then I just rearrange this. I took the x to the fourth, we'll bring it over here. And I group these together because we've got the same coefficient too. And then notice I can factor a 2x squared out of this. And we get another x cubed plus 1, which is the same thing we have in our first term. So what I'd like to do now is just make a substitution. Since we have this common term, we'll call this this term our y. And then we just want to notice that we're just going to kind of, we're going to turn this into a polynomial and we'll just consider this like a constant. So now we're writing this, we notice we have, like a, we have a quadratic in y. If we just, we'll just look at these as a constant value. And we can factor this quadratic now. We can write this as just y plus x squared squared. Noticing when you multiply that out, you're going to get, for the last term, you get x to the fourth, and with the inner terms, you're going to get a 2x squared y. And so now, putting back our y, we can have x cubed plus 1 plus x squared, all squared. Now that that's all factored, I'm just going to put this back into our integral, and we'll continue. Okay, so now that we factored our denominator, I think it's pretty clear a u substitution is going to work. So what we'll do is we're just going to make this inner piece our u. And then let's see what happens if u is x cubed plus x squared plus 1. Then our du value is going to be 3x squared, taking the derivative plus derivative of x squared is 2x. That's going to be a 0. And then we notice that that's exactly what we have in the numerator. So we can make our substitution now. We're going to have du in the numerator. Then we're going to have this thing's going to be u squared. Don't forget the squared. That's actually going to be pretty easy to integrate. We'll just bring this, um, you know, what to do is bring it and write it like a u to the minus 2 power du. Then integrating that, we're going to have u to the minus 1 over minus 1. Okay, then let's just back substitute with our u and finish this off. For our final answer, we're going to have negative 1 over x cubed plus x squared plus 1 plus c. And we're done. There you go, so a pretty big integral that's just simplified by factoring. We'll stop it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.